coaches. Um, quick video on how to charge people in front desk. So what we're gonna do is when you sign in, you're gonna see this screen. Okay, this is your home screen. It shows you what you've got going on today. <clears throat> There'll be any alerts up here up top if you have any alerts to take care of. So if we have someone that wants to buy a retail item or um, sign up for a contract or purchase a punch card, we are going to do the following. We're going to go to store. <clears throat> We're going to pick the item that they want. So if it's a plan or a contract or a punch card, it's going to be on this first page. We've got like one week unlimited, 12 months unlimited, 12 months, 13 days a week. Uh, six months unlimited, blah, 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 blah. We got all our options up here that are our plans. Okay, some prepay options. All right, then down here we have our student and adult punch cards and also our single classes. So adult drop-in, student drop-in, powerlifting, CrossFit, Olympic lifting. Um, got our little workshops, open gym, and our group startup. Okay. Um, so any one of those options will work. Um, I'm just going to go over to merchandise because that's typically what you guys will charge people for. So we're going to click merchandise. Let's say someone wants to buy a perfect bar. We're just going to, under this merchandise tab, we're going to scroll down. We're going to choose perfect bar. We're going to go to the right over here. It says choose client. Now before I do that, Say someone wants to buy two, you're just going to use this plus button to duplicate it, okay? Um, this gear button over here, you can click if you're the one buying it, and you can edit, and you can give yourself our coach's discount. So reduce that price and press update. Like, say, I don't remember what perfect bars cost, but let's say 225 we're going to click update and then we're going to go back to our shopping cart. Okay, so now we've got our item in our shopping cart. If we wanted to make a second one, we could do that. We're going to push duplicate. Now we've got two of them. Okay, they are independent items. If we want to add another item, say they want to kill Cliff 2, we're going to click add more items. We're going to go back to merchandise. We're going to scroll down till we see. Kill cliff, single kill cliff. We're gonna click that. Now that's on our list as well. We're gonna choose choose client. And let's say the client is, I don't know, Steve. Steve Smith, we're gonna click his name. We're gonna click finish. That'll take us to our checkout page. We've got all three of our items up here. We've got tax for the ones where it's applicable which is just the kill cliff. The perfect bars are consumable, so they don't count, but the kill cliff counts because it's ca uh, ca carbonated, la la la. Okay, then we're gonna choose payment method. Um, under here, we're gonna choose Christy because their accounts are linked. Um, I should actually get rid of this one because Steven doesn't use it anymore. So we're gonna choose his spouse. There won't be a name if it's the individual themselves that's paying. Then you're going to leave this receipt on so it sends them a receipt. And then you're going to click finish. That'll go through. It'll bill them. It'll send them a receipt. You're good to go. You're done. Okay? I uh, hope that cleared that up for you. If you have any questions, let me know.